Hi there, Jamie again, and Merry Christmas. At least it should be Christmas by the time I upload this. As you can see, uh, I'm I'm very in the season. Um, and I was just thinking today that you know there's going to be a lot of new Echo owners out there uh, after all the gifts have been given out. And I thought it would be pretty cool just to show those newer owners and you know even the veterans out there how how to make a quick skill or how I make a quick skill. Um, not going to be too complicated, but just. You know, hopefully just show off a quick quick introduction to the Alexa skills kit and yeah make making your first skill um it is christmas so it is going to be a christmas themed skill but yeah let's get straight into it i'm not going to explain absolutely everything um i've got some other videos that do some of that and there's even other videos on youtube and amazon's own documentation does a pretty good job of it but yeah the three things you're going to need or two i guess is um you're gonna need an amazon developer account um you know and then you go to the alexa section and create a new skill on the alexa skills kit you're gonna need an aws or an amazon web services account in the amazon developer portal i'm gonna do custom interaction model i'm gonna because we're making a custom skill i'm gonna set it to uk because I'm, I'm british let's call it uh i don't know christmas bracker mystery i don't know and then we'll call it the invocation name the same thing this is how we're going to open our skill we'd say you know alexa open this thing <sighs> moving on or we'll hit save let that quick save uh moving on to i don't even i don't really have a plan um you know first things first let's 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 get our skill all you know configured so we're going to go to the Amazon Web Services portal. We're going to go to Lambda, uh, which is where most skills are, are created. We're going to do create a function. Um, we could do from scratch, but for now, we're going to use a blueprint. If you search Alexa over here, you'll see that we've got some samples over here. I'm just going to use the fact skill. Um, reason being, it, it comes preloaded with the libraries that we need. And, that, you know, it's just easier, um, you know, rather than faffing around. So, yeah, let's just call it... Christmas cracker. What are you? All right, so CCM. Cool. Um, it's we're not using many. We're not going to do anything too complicated. So we can just do a lambda basic execution role. If you don't have this option, choose an existing role. Just do create a custom role, and then it will it will come up as an option lambda basic execution. You hit allow, and then you can choose from it. Um, scroll past this code for now. Create the function. Um. Oh, okay, so we've made our function. We next need to do something that a lot of people forget, and we need to add our trigger. Click over here, Alexa Skills Kit. This might not be showing up if you're in the wrong region. You do want to make sure that this bit over here, you're either in Ireland or North Virginia. Just, just long story short, that's the only region that's available, so just smile and nod and make sure you're in one of those. Hit Alexa Skills Kit over here. Uh, hit Add over here. Uh, save. And that's it. So, you know, it's skills not doing what we want at the moment. Um, I click, it basically does some fact stuff about space, whatever. Um, but for now, we're going to go to top right, copy our ARN, go back to the developer portal, go to configuration, hit AWS Lambda, ARN, default. You can do your own server if you want, but as I said, let's just let's get this done um cool a little green tick means it's 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 good cool um now we're going to go back to the code and just kind of empty it out it's kind of we're not really going to use much of this random fact stuff first thing i'm going to do is delete uh from 106 to 17 it's just language strings about space whatever also going to delete line 52 after that's removed and We'll also, you know, for the fun of it, let's just delete these two as well, these two functions, so from 34 to 21. Um, I'll explain these later. Do we need this? We don't need these comments either, so it cleans up a little bit. Cool, hit save. And now, uh, go back to the Amazon developer portal, hit interaction model. Um, whilst we're here, let's use the brand new beta skill builder. It's very shiny. Um, let's 
how am I going to do this? So, let's do create a new custom content. Um, what do we want? Wait, okay, I'm going to cut because I actually need to think what the hell we, what, what am I even doing right now? Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, kind of. Just, I kind of jumped straight into it. And I didn't really realize what we what, what we're gonna do. So what I'm thinking is we're gonna make a quick game that basically offers users Christmas crackers. So you know, Christmas cracker one, two, or three. Um, and in one of them, they'll get a point, and then hopefully they keep picking the right one and get more and more points. If they pick a wrong one, they get one of those crummy Christmas jokes, and you know they get to brag about their friends about how many points they got and they can challenge their friends and blah 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 so it's a game of chance pretty much you know one in three so uh in the skill builder what we're we gonna do first we're gonna use one of the built-in yes intents i'm gonna add that and i think that's what we're gonna build for now will this let me build no it will not let me build i'm pretty sure we need to have at least one custom intent so let's make one of those let's say this is the intent where I, I give the the number my my choice to to the skill. Um, let's do answer, and, and then let's say one of my utterances. So how I'm going to invoke this intent is I choose. We'll do a curly bracket. Uh, number value. Hit enter, and then we'll get rid of this bit over here to the right. We can choose our our uh, our slot type so it's going to be a number and then whilst we're here not everyone so you some you kind of want to add as many oops, you want to add as many as you as you can you got to put yourself in your user's shoes because in the end everyone's going to say some everyone can say the same thing differently so i choose number value number value uh number value is my choice i pick number value All right done then Hit save, hit build. So this sometimes takes a bit of time to build, that's fine. So whilst that's building on the back end, let's change some stuff over here. So I'm gonna do this dot response dot speak, which means this is what Alexa is gonna gonna say. Uh you know, the first thing she says. Welcome to the uh, and I'm also adding this to the, to the launch request handler. So, you know, when we first open the skill, she's going to say this. Welcome to the Christmas. Put in that right. Bracker mystery game. Would you like to play? Pretty fair welcoming. We can also do listen. Listen basically means we're going to keep the session open. And if the user doesn't respond, and I want to say, I'm going to say a couple of seconds, maybe five, six, I don't know, maybe eight. Um, she will then send a reprompt like, hello, are you listening? Um, so th that can just be, would you like to play? That looks pretty nice. Then do th change this to response ready. Oh, and don't forget the dot. And yeah, that looks good for now. I'm going to hit save. That's finished building. Very nice. Let's go to the test bit. I'll make sure it's, it's actually connected because we haven't actually done that yet. It should not be working. Of course, we don't want. We will go to the, the beta test simulator, which I, I highly recommend. Enable testing. So we can say open uh, Chris. Let's you know what? I'll actually use the mic. Open Christmas Cracker Mystery. Welcome to the Christmas Cracker Mystery game. Would you like to play? Good. Okay, it's working. Um, that's all it's doing at the moment. But let's add some functionality, shall we? So you'll see before I added, you know what, I'll make a new tab. So yeah, in the interaction model, you'll see, you see before I have added two intents, the Amazon.yes intent and the answer intent. So let's add that functionality now. Um, copy this. Yes. yes, intent. So basically, what we say if we hit these intents, we'll, we'll get the responses using these handlers. So, answer intent. 
you know, so Alexis asks, would you, do you want to play? And then hopefully the user has said yes, which they'll hit this intent. What does she want to say? Should we like, okay, great. Let us begin. I will offer you three Christmas crackers. One, two, three. Simply pick a cracker. If you're right, you will progress. If you're wrong, uh, what happens if, if you are wrong? You will get a crummy joke. But Jamie, I can hear you say, where, where are all these magical jokes that are, that are coming from? Well, you'll be happy to know I found the perfect list uh, with the perfect amount of crumminess um, off camera. So in my trusty notepad file, you'll see they're all awful. <laughs> I won't bother reading through them. I've got a trusty little website here called uh, comicquote.azorewebsites.net or something. I think there's a few out there, but what we're going to use it for is to basically copy our list. Um, we're going to choose comma as our separator, we'll do double quote, and yeah, this basically converts our nice list into a, a array ready format, let's say. Um, go back to our code, Whoop. we'll do var jokes equals, uh, copy that in, oops, yeah, copy that in, close that with semicolon, any errors? No, that, that's, I'm happy with that. Cool, okay, so what are we going to do now? Um, well, first we can, well, let's comment out this for now because it's a bit confusing. We don't know what our reprompt is going to be. We'll say, let us get started. Please pick, from... so this is after the user has started the game by saying yes, let's say. So Lex is saying let's start, she says, please pick from. One, two, three, four, and then that will hit our answer intent. Good. Okay. Um, but at this point, we sh we also need to figure out you know, which which Christmas cracker has the joke and which Christmas cracker gets the use of the point. So let's do something about that. Let's make a new function called Christmas cracker decider. Christmas cracker decider. Uh, we'll we will close this function. Um, so we need to generate a random value between a couple of numbers. Uh, for convenience, I'm just going to Google it because hey, that's what every coder does. Admit it. Um, <laughs> it's purple. I've already clicked it recently. Uh, if you want. All right, this is much. Right, I'm happy with this one. Cool. I'm not even going to read it. It's good. Um, oh, you know, we'll add this function as well. A random int from interval min max. So we want uh, one, two, three, and then you know what? We don't even need to put it into a return that. Oh, so we have our function over here. Let's do um, var correct. Bracker number equals this. So if this makes sense, uh, we're going to choose a random value, put it in there, and then we need to do session attribute. Attrib oh, I don't even touch on that. So you, we need to preserve data over the session. Um, not like a normal application where we can just make like a global or something. It needs to be, you know, saved in a in a certain way, and that way is using session attributes. So we can do this dot um, attributes. We'll call it uh, correct. Yeah, I will call it that, but then I don't want to use it with that. So I'll just call that one cracker number. Correct cracker number um, equals number we just we just made, and this should save. And this looks good to me. Um, between one to three. Let's give that a quick test. So if I hit save now and go to the developer portal, 
So, open Christmas cracker mystery. I don't, I've got a mic right here, I keep forgetting. Open Christmas cracker mystery. Welcome to the Christmas cracker oh, mystery game. Would you like to play? Uh, do I want to play? Yes. Great. Let us begin. I will offer you three Christmas crackers. One to three. Simply pick a cracker. If you're right, you will progress. If you're wrong, you will get a crummy joke. Let us get started. Please pick from one to three. Okay, this is this is working so far. And you can see in our in our JSON output that our the correct number has actually been saved. It's number three. Let's test that again. Um this is gonna crash it, but at least we get out the skill. Oh it didn't even crash, good. So let's test it again and hopefully the value is gonna be different this time. Open Christmas cracker mystery. Welcome to the Christmas Cracker Mystery Game. Yes. Great. Let us oh, begin. I will offer you three Very Christmas good. crackers. One to three. Simply pick a cracker. So, uh, that looks like it's working, but it is not over yet. 